Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Leviticus chapter 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and a bullock for the sin offering, and two rams, and a basket of unleavened bread. And unleavened bread pitches Jesus Christ, sinless. And gather thou all the congregation together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Get all Israel together, bring them to the door. Remember, the tabernacle is set up. All the curtains, all the furniture set up. And gather thou all the congregation together into the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. And the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses said unto the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. Hebrews 10, 22 and 2 Peter 2, 9. I don't know how much they washed, but they're at the labor. Everybody's watching. And he put on him the coat. We read Exodus 28, 2. And girdled him with a girdle. And clothed him with the robe. And put the ephod upon him, and girded him with a courteous girdle of the ephod, and bound it within thereof. We read this. We read before it was made. We read to the children of Israel. We read as it was being made, and here we are again. And he put the breastplate upon him, and put the breastplate, the urim and the thurum. There's a lot to that. Lights and perfection. And he put the mitre upon his head. So we've already gone through. We're not talking about the stones. Because they've already been set. We're talking about the items of the clothes of the priest. Now they are now being put upon Aaron. And upon his sons. They're finished. But they haven't been put on yet. And he put the mitre on his head. And upon the mitre. Even upon the forefront, forehead. Did he put the golden plate. The holy crown, I believe it said holiness to the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now this is Aaron. And Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, all the furniture, all the items, and sanctified to set apart them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, raised an altar, and anointed the altar and all his vessels, both the labor, so we're outside, the labor. Now, the labor, it's been ten times mentioned in Exodus and Leviticus. His foot, two pieces, to sanctify them. And he poured the anointing oil upon Aaron's head and anointed him. And to sanctify him. Psalms 133 too. As the oil that came upon Aaron's beard. But notice how. The brazen altar. And the labor are anointed first. Before Aaron's anointed. And Moses brought Aaron's sons. And put coats upon them. And girded them with girdles. That you find 12 times in Exodus and Leviticus. The girdles. And put bonnets upon them. 
Now they get a bonnet. They don't get the holy crown. As the Lord commanded. So Aaron and his sons are now being consecrated for the service of the priesthood. And he brought the bullock for the sin offering. We're all sinners. Jesus Christ, the only one who's not sinned. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of that bullock for the sin offering. It's the priest first. They are admitting Aaron and his son when they lay their hands upon the, that bullet before all the congregation of Israel. That sin offering were sinners. That's why God said, Bring everybody. I want you all to see. And we saw that the priests were first in chapter 4, verse 3. Then it would be the whole congregation, 413, the rulers, 422, and the common people, 427. We read that four chapters ago. And he slew it. Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the bullock with the sin offering, and he slew it. Aaron, with his sons holding that as he's holding it. And Moses took the blood. He didn't take a congregation. He didn't take water. He didn't take membership. He took the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger. And purified the altar. And poured the blood at the bottom of the altar and sanctified, set apart to make reconciliation upon it. And he took all the fat that was upon the inwards and the call, that's 11 times in Exodus and Leviticus. Above the liver and the two kidneys and their fat. And Moses burned it upon the altar. But the bullock and his hide, his flesh and his dung, he burnt with fire without the camp. As the Lord commanded Moses. Now we see the type of Jesus Christ being sacrificed outside the camp. The sin offering of the priests. You know, he, the flesh and the dove, that's all the, the refuge. And Jesus Christ was refuge. They, he wasn't wanted. They didn't care about him. He wasn't the best. And you got to figure, John says all the things that Jesus done, you, you, you couldn't have a Bible big enough for it. And where were all those people when, that Jesus healed? The devils, the blind, the maimed, all of them. And he brought the ram for the burnt offering. Now a ram was an offering for Isaac. Caught in the thicket. You know, the, the thorny crown upon Jesus' brow. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram. We're guilty. He ought to have in the congregation of a church. He ought to, and I don't know how any church would do it, but the church was for me was the day I got saved on the Saturday. The next day, the, the pastor from the pulpit said, "Listen, there's there's somebody here who wants to make an announcement." And I raised my hand. I stood up and I said, "Everybody." I said, yesterday afternoon, I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. I'm a sinner. I am now washed. And a week later, I was baptized before the congregation of the people of the church as a witness, as a testimony. That's what's going on right now. And brought the ram for a burnt orphan. Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram. And he... Aaron with his sons holding it and he's holding it. I can only assume that with one hand he's holding it and he's got a knife or something. It's got to be a knife. And I don't know what the parts of the animal are. I don't know where the heart is. And he killed it and Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he cut the ram into pieces. And Moses burnt the head and the pieces and the fat. 
and they washed the inwards with legs and the legs in water blood before water and Moses burnt the whole ramp upon the altar it was a burnt sacrifice for a sweet savor the day I got saved the day that you get saved it's a sweet savor of the blood of Jesus Christ and even sweeter when you get washed in a baptism to prove the show hey death burial, and resurrection I have publicly received Christ I am following the ways of the Bible and God says I like that Jesus said any man that denies me I'm going to deny him before the Father and before the angels and if you confess Jesus he'll confess you before the Father he'll confess you before the angels as the Lord commanded Moses this is a confession and this is a testimony of Aaron and his sons before all of Israel and he brought the other ram, the ram of consecration. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram. Three times. A bullock and two rams. And he slew it. And Moses took the blood of it. And put it upon the tip of Aaron's right ear. You better be careful what you hear. Upon the tip of his right hand. You better be careful what you touch. And the great toe of his, great, of his right foot. You better be careful where you go. And right single strength, power. And he brought Aaron's sons and Moses put the blood upon the tip of, of their right ear, upon the thumbs of their right hands, upon the great toes of their right feet. And Moses sprinkled the blood of the altar round about. So Moses takes his finger, puts it on the ear, puts it on the hand, and he's got to bow down before them to put it on their right toe. And we read tonight as, as the family of Jesus Christ had to bow down to wash the disciples' feet. Moses likened to that prophet that Jesus Christ would be. And he took the fat and the rump, that's the best part, and all the fat that was upon the inwards, and the call above the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right, sh and the right shoulder, best part, out of the basket of unleavened bread. That was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake and a cake of oiled bread and one wafer. We saw that last night, the peace offering. Put them yeah, and put them on the fat and upon the right shoulder. He put all upon Aaron's hands, upon his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. That's back and forth. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ's hands were outstretched. And Moses took them from off their hands and burnt them on the altar upon the burnt offering. And they were consecrated for a sweet Savior. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So he, Jesus Christ went into hell to pay for our sins, deposit our sins, or you will go into hell for fire and pay for your own sins. And Moses took the breast and enraved it for a wave offering before the Lord. For of the ram of the consecration, it was Moses' part as the Lord commanded Moses. So Moses becomes a part of a priest. He gets part of the food. And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled it upon Aaron and upon his garments upon his sons and upon his son's garments with him and sanctified set apart Aaron and his garments that's how we started the chapter and his sons and his son's garments with him but you just picture here's he here's Aaron and his sons they're standing there and Moses takes the blood right in their right in their clothes the altar had blood the labor had blood over them and people are watching this And Moses said to Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation upon the brazen altar. May you burn and you boil there. And that boil, it's kind of interesting. Cause this is because it says in 1 Samuel that it came in with that three pot and went into the pot and grabbed. 
or Samuel. Let's take a look at that. I don't have it marked with early and first Samuel. It's Eli's sons. All right, uh, chapter two, verse fifteen, uh, twelve. First Samuel twelve, two twelve. Excuse me. Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They were worthless sinners, wicked before God, and knew not the Lord. Well, that's interesting, priests. And the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servant, uh, yeah. supposed to be the priest, they are allowing men into the tabernacle that don't belong there. Came with a flesh. Came while the flesh was seething, that's the boiling we're doing right now, with a flesh hook of three teeth in its hand. And he struck it into the pan, or kettle, or cauldron, or pot, no matter what it was. All that the flesh brought up, the priest took for himself, so they did in Shiloh unto all the Israelites that came there. So they walk up to the brazen altar to stick it in their fork and and help themselves and before they burnt the fat that's what we're supposed to do that's what we've been reading the priest servant again came and said unto the man that a sacrifice the person that brought the offering give flesh to rose for the priest for he will not have sodden flesh of thee but raw give me that raw meat give me that fat that's a violation of what we've been reading about. And if any man said unto him, Let them not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take it as much as they as thy soul desires, then he would answer, Nay, but thou shalt give it me now. If not, I will take it by force. The man knew more of the Bible than the priest said, Listen, let it cook first. And the Bible says, Once you burn it, then it's yours. And that priest says, No. Even before it's cooked, even before it's even touched the fire, I'll have it raw. So, Eli is not doing what the Bible is telling him to do, and his sons are completely out of whack. So, verse 31, and Moses said to Aaron, the sons boil the flesh. That's one of the things they're doing. They stick that three-pronged thing in it and come up wherever it's coming, if it's done or not. Adore the tabernacle congregation, and they shall there eat it with the bread that is in the basket of consecration, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his son shall eat it. Now, this is a consecration of the priests. This is not what's going on. They're not consecrating the priests in uh, 1 Samuel. It's an offering of the people. But I wanted you to see that. And that which remaineth of the flesh and of the bread shall ye burn with fire. No leftovers. So, they really could step aside away from what God has told them to do. And we all did. But wickedly was Eli. And ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation in seven days. Until the days of your consecration be in the end, for seven days shall he consecrate you. All right. This is what's going on. Bring Aaron and his sons to the tabernacle. Bring all the con congregation to the door of the tabernacle. All right. Anoint the labor, anoint the brazen altar, anoint Aaron. And then his sons. Slay the animals, sprinkle the blood. Now we come to the end. Aaron and his sons have been sanctified. They've been anointed. And Moses is saying to him right now, as of right now, you are to stay here for seven days. Your congregation ain't finished yet. You got a, a week. You must stay here. And as a person who, who, who has lived life and all that, you got to wonder. They are in a holy place. They are before God. And as weird as I yeah, what about if they had to go to the bathroom in seven days? You couldn't leave. 
to watch. And he had done this day, so the Lord had commanded to do, to make an atonement for you. Therefore shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night, seven days. You are to stay at that door and everyone's to watch you. While you just ate a meal. And I, weirdo as I am, I, well, what do you do if you got to go to the bathroom? And yet Moses was 40 days and 40 nights, never ate and never drank and stood before the Lord. And I don't think he had to go to the bathroom. I don't think they had to go to the bathroom. And you say, what's well, just something I just think about when I read the Bible. And keep the charge of the Lord that ye die not. For so I commanded. So Aaron and his sons did all the things which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. Too bad Eli did. And look at the mess Eli got the nation into. The ark was taken. And his sons were killed. And then one of his one of the daughters has a, a child named Ichabod. The glory has departed from Israel. 